So for the last many years, we've been hiring over 400 uh, MBAs in a given year. Um, and uh, predominantly, if you look at the way our business is shaped up and, our, the, and the requirements of our customers, it's moving from their traditional business models to the digital economy and uh, helping them understand how to engage their business in the new era of uh, digital. So we hire people into Cognizant Business Consulting, uh, uh, largely, but we also have other emerging service lines for which we hire uh, these MBAs. So CBC, which constitutes a majority of our um, intake, Emerging Business Accelerator, which is the second service line. EBA is our um, equivalent of the startup uh, culture in Cognizant, so where Cognizant funds ventures that have business potential. So we use these MBAs for the go-to-market strategy, for the solution architecting, for uh, understanding the space in which uh, uh, the business team wants to develop a solution and the scope for uh, revenue potential. So EBA is another area where we hire people into. So we actually have a very strong industry academia um, relationship team. Uh, when we say B-School hiring, it's not just hiring, right? It's about partnering with uh, the B-Schools and providing a view of the industry and the needs and wants of the industry. So we have a forum where we actually collaborate with uh, the faculties uh, of uh, business schools in helping them understand where uh, the industry is headed. We also work with uh, students um, specifically, we tailor make courses, we actually deliver these courses, we uh, have guest faculty uh, options that we work. So B schools are also very open to actually looking at what's relevant for the industry because there are some fundamentals that are theory based that they need to teach. But beyond that, they're looking at some of these electives where you know companies like us can partner with them to customize curriculum that uh, is relevant for the industry itself and we do that a lot. See, there are different emerging models um, that we are seeing. See, five years back, uh, a one-year MBA was not uh, considered a, a full-fledged MBA. What do you get uh, to cover an MBA? Today, it's uh, it's almost uh, become the norm for people with uh, experience. Um, so I think the and because they're all. Um, what they call PGDM kind of programs and not necessarily affiliated to a university, they have the flexibility to be nimble and responsive to uh, what the businesses want. Um, I think it's already there um, and we see a lot of uh, progressive uh, moves by uh, these uh, top B schools in wanting to be relevant and uh, in the current environment. So I, I don't think we see it. And as long as that industry academia interaction uh, is solidified, where there is inputs um, that are taken to be in touch with uh, the market and the progress of the industry, um, I think we are uh, we're in a good place. Because a lot of these things uh, you still need um, to contextualize to a company. When we say digital, digital is uh, very dif very hard to define what digital is, right? Because it encompasses a lot of things. It's uh, data science, it's big data, it's uh, mobility, uh, Internet of Things. Uh, you can't expect uh, curriculum to cover all of these. Uh, some of it has to come uh, from the industry as well. So the fact that they are going to a top business school takes care of the fundamentals. Right? So the screening criteria has already been taken care of by the B school that uh, they joined. Uh, over and above that, we look for uh, good attitude and adaptability to the Cognizant culture because there is a unique secret sauce that has made Cognizant very successful. Uh, uh, and it's all about customer focus, it's all about uh, empathizing with the uh, customer. So you look at attitude and adaptability to cognizant culture in the first place. Two, good communication skills. Obviously, when you're working with a global clientele, you need to be able to articulate uh, your views and be f confident in expressing them. So we look for good communication skills. Third, we look for um, good, what we call the emotional quotient coupled with the intelligence quotient. 
especially in our situation where we are known to be uh, exceptionally customer focused, uh, it requires a good understanding of our customer business and their challenges. So it have, you mean you have to empathize uh, with them. So these are the three things that we look for uh, in fresh graduates. But we also hire executive MBAs. Uh, so these are people who are from any of these premium B schools that uh, go through a one-year program but have at least five years of uh, experience. There we look for a combination of their professional experience that they've had coupled with their management education uh, together makes it uh, a potent combination for some of the middle management roles that we want to hire them for. So these are the few things that we look for in B school folks.